Hi everyone, this is Nick Leibert with Exit Realty. Welcome back to Lunch with Leibert. We have not done one of these in a while and uh, I'm very excited to bring this educational program back. Uh, this is for real estate agents, this is for consumers, this is for everybody. So uh, we are here in our office today on North Avenue with my good friend Julie from Bank of America. Julie, welcome. Uh, Julie is a great lender. She and I have worked together on a variety of ideas before, and she always brings something new and interesting to the table. And the other day she called me, she said, Nick, I've got something new for you. Uh, I took a couple days to get back with her, but uh, once I heard what this program was, I said, oh, we gotta get this in front of a camera. So what this is right now is Bank of America is giving up to $17,500 in down payment and closing cost assistance in Chicago land. Uh, you don't have to pay it back, but there are some pieces of information you need to know to see if you qualify. I am definitely not the best expert on this, so that's why Julie's here with us to tell us more about these, uh, this program and how you put it together. Thanks so much, Nick, and I'm glad to be here today for your um, lunch meeting. Um, so I want to talk a little bit about this down payment assistance. So there's a couple of ways that you're able to use it. Um, so you either have to be at 80% of the median income, which is right around 68,000 in Chicago, or buy in certain census tracts. Um, and those census tracts, we can help you identify once you find a property. Um, there are some neighborhoods that have a lot of these census tracts, Uptown, Edgewater, but that's certainly not the limit of where you can go. With this program, you can get up to $10,000 to cover 3% of your down payment. And that's all the down payment you need if you are buying a single family home or a condo. If you're buying a two unit property, we'll still give you the 3%, but you'll need 2% of your own money. Okay. On top of that, we're going to be able to give you down um, closing cost assistance, sorry. And that's up to $7,500. It will cover your non-recurring closing costs, so your appraisal fee, um, your flood certification, the lender origination fee, um, title charges, your attorney. The one thing it won't cover though is your prepaid expense. So it won't cover your first year's homeowner's insurance premium. It won't cover starting up your tax escrow. So you need to have a little bit of money for that. Um, and we will do up to $7,500. It will also cover the city of Chicago transfer tax. Nice. So we rarely don't use all of the money in the city of Chicago um, because of that transfer tax. So really you can get into a house simply with having two months payment in reserves, which I think is always important when you're buying a new house because stuff happens and it's nice to have a little bit of reserves once you get in and having your prepaid expense. So, you know, you can get into a house with you know, as little as probably three thousand dollars. Yes, and actually even a little bit less, depending on what the tax prorations from the seller are. Um, exactly. I had one the other day. I didn't even realize was part of this program, and uh, I looked at it on the HUD on the closing statement, or what we now call the closing statements, and they came in with uh, under two thousand dollars to close. So I was very happy with that. My client was delighted. So you know, to recap a couple things with Julie is that. If you are not making a huge amount of money, so a lot of uh, my clients, database out there, you know, maybe this is your first or second job, or you're just in a great career you love, but you don't make a huge amount of money. If you're making fifty, sixty thousand dollars a year, you can absolutely still purchase a property under this program, and at that income level, uh, that's less than eighty percent of the medium Chicago income, you do not have to go into these certain census tracts. Now, my client the other day that uh, closed with so little down, we accidentally found a great property that was in one of the census tracts. We weren't even looking for that. Uh, but what we do is we go out with you, and if you are making over that 80% of medium Chicago income, so a lot of other people in my database, you can still absolutely get this great program. You just have to go in those certain census tracts. So one of the first things we do is sit you down with Julie. She's even got an online application. She took one for me last night. Uh, one of the few lenders of mine that do an online application that really like that. And what we did was we got them connected and we'll figure out, is this, uh, do you qualify based solely on income? Or do you qualify based on the fact that you make a good amount of money, but you are willing to go into these certain census tracts? And all over Edgewater, Uptown, a lot of other neighborhoods you wouldn't necessarily expect. 
uh, these census tracts exist. So, you know, again, what I would say to all of you is, if you feel like you uh, are, it's your time to buy. And I have to tell you, I don't know what Julie's feeling on, is on it. Guys, interest rates right now are like less than four percent. I mean, this is we thought this was over. That interest rates were never going to get this low again, or at least for the foreseeable future. And uh, you know, we've been dealt a good deck of cards, so to speak, this year from the Fed. And uh, we feel like for the next you know couple months, the time is now to buy. So next question for uh, Julie would be. Uh, what type of credit score are they looking for for this program? So we use um, uh, Freddie Mac's Home Possible. So we have a 640 credit score requirement for okay. that. Um, so you don't have to have perfect credit. Um, and we allow debt to income ratios to go up to 45%. The nice thing about Home Possible is when you don't put 20% down, you have something called mortgage insurance, um, which protects the lender. Um, and that mortgage insurance premium is lower on home possible so you are able to qualify for a little bit more than you would otherwise be able to on a traditional mortgage program okay so mortgage insurance pmi but a, a lower discounted pmi so right. to speak so that's another great thing about this program you're not having to jump through the fha hoops a lot of people come to me thinking they can only afford fha properties which in the city of Chicago cut you down on the number of condo builders you can look at. I'm happy to work with you if you're with FHA, but this may be an alternative program that only 3% down in some cases, but at the same time, what if Bank of America is paying you for, uh, towards that 3,000, that 3% down up to $10,000 and turning around and paying your uh, closing costs? I gotta tell you, a seller's gonna love an offer like that because unlike some other programs that are asking the seller to contribute, this is not including a seller contribution. So you and I can then turn around and negotiate heavier on um, price. Um, Julie, any other tips or notes from you right now? Um, the other thing about it is the $7,500 in closing cost assistance, I can use that in not in combination with the $10,000. So if somebody needed to go FHA for some reason, we could still offer that closing cost assistance. And we have a couple of other conventional programs that we can pair that with. So, they don't have to be together, but when they're together, they're really a great deal. Nice. So, Julie, thank you very much for being here today. Guys, any questions, message me. Uh, if you've got other topics you want to learn about, uh, absolutely, we can have Julie back. There's some other great people I'm going to be talking to soon on Lunch with Library. Really appreciate you guys being here, whether you're a buyer or seller. Uh, it looks like we're going to have a great uh, rest of the year. So, let's get in touch now before anything else. Have a good day.